Hello gamers and welcome to Xbox and Pony. My name is Phil. My name is Nick. And we're just two passionate gamers from two different sides of the fence. Every week we discuss the latest news in gaming and the reasons why Nick is actually just wrong about Xbox. Uh, no, I'm actually right about Xbox and come July, we'll all see why. Next console war, baby. We got this. It's coming. I'm excited, man. This is like the, as a gamer, this is the best time of year. Like the best part of the decade really is that ramping up where we get to sort of hear all the little rumors and we get to sort of fight against each other. It's the best, absolute best. Well, you should see it on social at the moment. It's, it's pretty, there's people dying left, right and center out there. The <laughs> In the great console wars of 2020. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> it feels like being back on the playground for me. I don't know about you. You know, like, no, Sega's better. No, Nintendo's better. And like, now it's going to be, you know, next gen, Microsoft and Sony round three. Well, now it's SSDs are better. That's, yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares about CPUs and GPUs like they did back, uh, well, what, what are we not now? Five years ago now. So it's all, yeah. all SSDs now. That's, that's what's going to win the console war. So time yeah. will tell. And we both know that's what Sony's going to be ramming down our throats over and over and over again. SSD, 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 SSD. It's going to be great. Good marketing. It's clever marketing. You, yeah. you find the thing you're strong at and you stick to it. There you go. Exactly. Have you been playing anything good this week, Nick? I have. I recently just finished off Spider-Man on the PS4, um, which is yeah a little bit late. But, um, yep, and I did get a platinum trophy. I don't get those things on the Xbox. Did, did we get these roles the wrong way around? Are you meant to be the pony? And like, am I meant to be the Xbox? Maybe. We don't have to, do we have to start the video again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, rewind. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> nah. um, oh, good. Well, I, what did I, you think? Of, I assume you enjoyed the game then if you got that far. Yes, I, I grinded through some of the more annoying side missions, which... All those games have some annoying ones. There's some, I guess it's personal preference. Some people like what they're doing in that, but chasing some of the pigeons around was a bit. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Drones, oh, yeah. the drones challenges. Oh my god! Yeah. But story, gameplay, it's all top notch. It's all top notch. It's it's triple yeah. A stuff. It's sold what 14 million copies and probably should have sold more. To be honest, it's unfair that only playstation owners get to play it i think but go on go on tell the people how you actually played it go on all right reveal right. yourself a little bit <laughs> i can actually show them it's called an x1 adapter um so i don't need to use the playstation controller yeah the, that well, inferior ps4 well. controller yeah um I, I go back and forth between the two um yeah. I can use a PlayStation 4 controller. Don't worry, I have plenty of times. I, I did with God of War. I couldn't use the Xbox controller God of War. just didn't feel right. So I'm um, a big God of War fan, even though I'm an X-Bot. Uh, but, yeah, finish that off and stuck into Ori Will of the Wisps, which is yeah. definitely why so far my game of the year 2020. Beats stunning. Ready. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Just amazing. It had a few issues at launch, some frame rate issues, um, some glitches that seems to be fixed. A uh, new HDR patch just come through because a lot of people probably don't know, but the new consoles do support HDR, but it is emulation. It's not, mm. it's not, the, yeah, it's not like we get in the movies where it's proper HDR. Um, it's a bit of a software type thing at the moment, so they can tweak and adjust it, and the game looks stunning. It, most of all, though, it plays stunningly. It just you know, you stuff up and you know you stuffed up. It's, yeah. Start the I'm game dying. Being cheap. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. The game, yeah. The upgrade trees, the story, even though it's, you know, no voice acting, it's all like a Nintendo game, really, with the little animal noises they make. But they've gone more of a combat route this way, this time. Um, more emphasis on less projectile weapons and more close combat axes and, and hammers and stuff. And works really well. And the platforming's still there. It's, some really easy parts and some really, really frustrating, tricky parts that you sit there for a fair while trying to just climb up to grab one item to upgrade. And, yeah, you can take a good 20 minutes just trying to get this one item, just figuring out how to get up there. And 
yeah, you know, Metroidvania. You got to upgrade and go back to places you've already been, and just I'm loving it at the moment. About halfway through, I think. So, ah, but, sounds yeah. amazing, man. I can't wait to play it on the Switch when they release it next year. No, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see for that for the time being. Um, I'll play the downgraded <laughs> version. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Apparently it plays okay on the Switch, the first one. It does. It does. It's not too bad, actually. You know, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. That's one studio I thought Microsoft would buy, but apparently Moon, no, they're happy doing what they're doing. So, you know, and everybody has to say thank you, Microsoft, for letting Switch owners get that because they could have said no. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go with more of a, eh, cheers, mate. I'm not, I'm not going to thank you. Yeah, I'm not going to go for a thank you. Thank no. you. That make me sound grateful. I'm not doing that. It's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this week I haven't had a chance to play very much, but uh, I've actually been playing quite a bit on the PSVR because uh, I had some issues with um, my processor unit and I managed to replace it and it's all working up and now, which is really good. Um, I tried the new Walking Dead game, Saints and Sinners. Um, uh, another place oh no, it's not playstation exclusive i'll take it back it's on the pc oh, i'll take it back um but it's really satisfying man like if you can imagine that you've got like knives and, and swords not swords but like bats and things in your hand and you can grab walkers by the head and smash them or like impale them with screwdrivers and things and it's quite worryingly satisfying i think i might be a bit psychotic because it feels really good to stab these walkers in the head and then they sort of die on you and things it's brilliant they've done a really good job of the game it's a lot of fun feels like manhunt on the way yes <laughs> was... actually, you might be able to clarify something for me because i remember years ago a rumor going around the playground that the wii version of manhunt if you had the nunchucks in you could like sort of pretend like you were going to garrot someone and then pull them in was that actually real they released it on multiple platforms manhunt 2 and yeah. the news coverage worldwide in america mainly yeah. um was all about the wii version basically the other versions didn't exist yeah. because they did when you had your screwdriver you did this and you did you strangled you had to yeah. pull it up and strangle so again i might have some issues but um, I was showing my girlfriend not too long ago, and she said, you're getting way too into this. Way <laughs> too into this. All right. Look, but, the facial expressions are scary. <laughs> but You're not the yeah, same person yeah, anymore, yeah. man. And that looks looking way too natural. Like, like, it looks like you've done it before. I'm really worried. Yeah. Well, next time you come around, man, try Saints and Sinners, Walking Dead. All right? It's good oh, fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, any other game I tried on PSVR this week was uh, the Iron Man demo uh, came out. Um, yeah, it's initially, I would say it's initially a little bit awkward to get the controls. But once you've got it, man, it is pretty special. Like you really do feel like you're flying around and you're able to aim properly. And yeah, it's brilliant. It's, it feels like you're in a full 3D environment. Absolutely loved it. You know, and um, yeah. No motion sickness. Like, because when I told my wife that, I said, hey, there's an Iron Man game. She was like, oh, no, that's going to make me puke. No way. I'm not going anywhere near that. I'm going to be chunks yeah. on the floor. But it's really smooth. They've done a really good job of it. It's worth oh, checking nice. out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm very keen for that. That's that's a very interesting concept. Yeah. So they've, they've come a long way since the, the Batman VR demo was yeah, a bit. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Some of the VR stuff now is really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Right, Nick, shall we jump into the news of the week? Yes, let's do news of the week. Yeah, let's go. Now, one that's definitely near the top of my list is potentially something to do with Sega. And the rumor is that it could be quite revolutionary. So talk us through it, Nick. What, what do we need to know? So we've got a Japanese reporter kind of talking themselves up a little bit in this article, a bit more than the actual news themselves, but comparing it to the PlayStation 5 reveal last year, saying it's a bigger scoop as that, but it's going to rile up the industry. Um, confirmed it was Sega and that they talked to the tech team as well, which is interesting because I wouldn't think Sega has a tech team or a tech department. I mean, unless we're talking about those Mega Drive minis, um, 
that that wasn't a PlayStation mug. Oh, no. Now that you uh, mention it, oh, look at that. What's that that we've got there? That was accidental, I swear. Hmm. Completely. So uh, somebody was uh, calling me a, a fraud last week. I think uh, you might be a... Hey, hey, I said that I was, you know, introduced to gaming through Sega. And, I, and you know, maybe uh, it's not going to be, but maybe you never know. Sega's coming back into the hardware market. Dreamcast 2. Oh, yeah, that's no. <laughs> no don't get me wrong. I love the Dreamcast. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. But they uh, would ditch that branding in a second <laughs> there's no way they're going to call it a dreamcast 2 after 20 years it's just not going to happen nah, well probably a little bit better than calling it an xbox though yes yes all right okay well what do we think then what do we actually feel well, this rumor might be it, assuming that it is sega that's going to be doing something revolutionary what do you reckon it will be well, the reporter did slip up and say Sega, um, and he did say not Dreamcast 2. So mm. the rumours flying around, uh, Microsoft has bought Sega. That mm. came around a couple of months ago as well. I find that hard to believe. Um, Microsoft and Sega are pretty chummy at the moment. You know, there's Fantasy Star Online 2. Yep. We've got the Kikusa games, um, you know, even coming day date now with the new one. So mm. I think... It could be something more along those lines. Sega supporting Microsoft, maybe even exclusive somewhere, but I can't see them outright buying. Again, the other rumour is Sony buying them. Mm. I, I can't see that. Sony still has a very good relationship with Sega as well. Yeah. I think Sega's making enough money. They don't need to be bought out by anybody. Um, yeah. Even well, Sonic I, heard, I heard that like the gaming division does somewhat well, but it's not actually their main money earner. It's actually the... The pachinko uh, machines, right? And the arcades in Japan and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, should say that the, the company itself, they're making profits. Yeah. Probably not a gaming division, but you know, the Sonic movie obviously was a box office hit. They just announced a new Sonic sequel. They did, make, yeah. I'm keen for it. It gets a lot of hate. I, I enjoyed it. That I was thought awesome. it was good. It's a kid's movie, man. What, like, it's not <laughs> Shakespeare, but you know, it was it was fun. It was entertaining. Yeah. Sonic wasn't annoying. Um <laughs> So, and I'm glad they rechanged him. Like, spend those millions, change him. He looks so much better. Yeah, so much better. All right, but revolutionary though. All right, an exclusivity deal or being bought. I don't know if that's revolutionary. Um, no, I don't know. You know. Welcome to Xbox Game Studios, Sega. Mm, yay! No, that's not going to happen. Um, um, no, no. not going to be a place. Maybe, studio. and. Oh, I don't know. Let's give it a go. I reckon there's a potential for the return of the Sega channel. You reckon? <laughs> Maybe. But you know what? Sega were ahead of the time, man. If it was it the early 90s, mid 90s, where they had an online service where you could download those games and play them and different things every month. You know, OK, it was on really crappy dial up, but, you know. Yeah. Well, it's a possibility. EA still ticks along with theirs. So, and that's just come to the PlayStation, the EA service as Origin well. Stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so, it's like, been on Xbox that, for like, long. That Why not? whole Sega catalog, like from Master System, Mega Drive, Saturn, Game Gear, Je um, Dreamcast, like, there's so much that they could tap into. And if they had either like a Nintendo Online type system, or a Netflix yep. style system, I think a lot of people would buy into that. Like, if you've got 30 years worth of history, I think people well, would be very tempted. Everybody's wanting Nintendo to do that, and yep. I'm not going to downplay what they're doing on the Switch, but it, it's very lackluster compared to what they did before. And mm. to be honest, Nintendo were pretty lackluster in what they did then. Like, you've mm. got this rich art pieces that should be available to everyone to play. Like... Mm. And subscription is just taking over. We've got our Disney Plus, our Netflix. Like, it's the way of the world. It's the way of the future. Why not? Look how successful Game Pass is. Uh, PS Now is getting traction as well. These companies are making money off subscriptions, mm. not so individual sales. You're going to get small hardcore fans that are going to continue to buy the same game over and over again. But mm. 10 bucks a month, I can play any Sega game I want. 
there we go. I, I that would be tempting. It would be tempting if I had access to that whole Dreamcast collection. Some I never owned a Saturn, so I never really got to play many of those games. Sort of I'd love there. to sort of explore that a little bit, rediscover some old Mega Drive classics. Yeah, I'd pay ten bucks a month for that yeah, if there was a decent amount. What would you do if it was exclusive to Series X? <laughs> Uh, I just play on the original hardware then, you know, because <laughs> I like, like a true gamer. All right. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Yeah. Yes. All right. My opinion didn't just flip. Shh. I don't know what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> but that's as cool as an idea that is, that's not revolutionary, though, is it? Let's it's be not. honest. Ubisoft and has got their own program like that. EA has their own program like that. You know, like it's not anything new. Um, multiple PC. Um, you got Epic. You got Steam. It's not revolutionary. It's not going to. No. You know, unless they're taking their games away from those sort of systems and only doing their own, it could rile up the industry. But I don't think so. It's no, it's yeah, not so either. It's not revolutionary. It's not going to rile up. Again, if it was an exclusive deal to Sony or Microsoft or say Nintendo, that would rile up the industry. But again, it's still not revolutionary. No, it it would send shockwaves for sure. But it yeah, it wouldn't be something that you wouldn't. It wouldn't be a defining moment that would rock gaming. No. Um, yeah. no. So the other one is Sega using marketing for Series X in Japan. Hmm. Call it Series X console a Sega console. Yeah, I heard about that. I'm dubious about that, man. Like, really, really dubious. Like, the Japanese are not stupid. Like, the pe- people are not stupid. They're going to see right through that. It's going to seem really shallow. It's going to seem dishonest and i think people would dismiss it out of hand immediately yeah that's we have access to so much information these days there's no if there's no internet around they could probably get away with it yeah but without the internet yeah Mm. you just get away with those kind of things so i don't know where that come from but it's a bit silly Mm. the third and final is obviously a dreamcast mini something along those lines but it doesn't really fit Again, not revolutionary though. Like every no. other console maker's done it. So, no, yeah, we've many I mean, I'd love it. Now. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'd love it, but no. no. So yeah, myself personally, I, I think you're right. I think it's going to be some sort of streaming thing. Hence, they said they're talking to a tech person from the company. So it's got to be some sort of a subscription service along yeah. those lines. It's not a bad idea. It's, well, it's bad interesting. Idea. It's early June, so next week we should find out. And Famitsu is going to be the one releasing the information so next thursday which means probably friday in australia yeah all right can't wait all right our next bit of news relates to the developers of streets of rage 4 a game that nick and i have been playing recently and absolutely love it's taken us right back to our childhood days Really well designed, really, really fun. And they took part in an AMA recently and revealed some interesting tidbits. Nick, why don't you tell us a little bit more? Yes, so .mu were asked about a sequel or DLC to Streets of Rage 4, um, which I've been playing on Game Pass, which is nice and free. Very, very good. I just, you know, how much did you pay for Streets of Rage 4? Ah, of course, yeah. Uh, You know what I've actually done? No, no, no. You know what I've actually done, right? Genuinely. Uh, yep. Limited Run Games were selling the physical versions of them, and I bought one of those. I didn't get because they had these versions where it looked like an old Mega Drive case, and oh, I was that's... really tempted, really tempted, but I couldn't justify it. Maybe one day, maybe one day. They are a little pricey. Um, yeah. Yeah. So they were asked about sequel, and they said they hadn't really discussed a sequel yet. Um, working on ironing out any bugs and and adding more content to Streets of Rage Four, which is really good and fun um a lot of people again have been complaining that it plays like the old games and i think that's the whole point mm-hmm. yeah. it's meant to be the old games and a sequel with a little bit prettier graphics but there's 17 unlockable characters the game is pretty good um they and that's what those developers do uh, they did that um wonder boy remake didn't they the the, yes. the, yes. the thing you trap, the dragon's trap and um it was an amazing job it felt like a modern version of those styles of games it was wonderful and it brings back that nostalgia but it doesn't change too much and you don't want to you don't you just want to play what you remember in those type of games and try and like when that the transition from 2d to 3d you know donkey kong 64 um <laughs> sometimes doesn't work so yeah. just stick with what works um, just fine tune it yeah 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 
Yeah. So they so, reveal they're working on three similar projects to Streets of Rage 4. Ooh. Three. Right. Oh, the nostalgia glands are throbbing. All right, let's see. Of course. I mean, it could be maybe not a franchise as big as that, but if you look back to the 2D, 2D fighters, we're getting Battletoads, obviously, coming for Xbox. Um, so something along those veins. Maybe it could be another Double Dragon uh, Shinobi. That yeah, would be. definitely. I'd be down for Shinobi. Uh, Golden Axe is what I would like. I really love that. That would be fun. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Was it... Um, I might be getting them a bit mixed up. It was either Golden Axe or Altered Beast. One of those two had a third one that was only released in Japan. Altered Beast. Was it Altered Beast that only got the third one? Ah, okay. So that could be a good opportunity if they did a new um, Altered Beast to sort of bring in some of that content for people to try oh, in the West because they never would have had a go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was surprising because they weren't even asked about this. They just kind of threw it out there. So oh. that time of year, E3 technically is a week away. So I guess everybody's trying to get as much news out as they can. But it's, it's exciting. I mean, I, I'm happy to see more of these 2D old games get a sequel and mm. not just give them a fresh coat of paint and release the same games give us a new one with new enemies and new things to do and a few new abilities and break it up a bit yeah, hang on was altered beast the one that had that really bad ps3 game the one that was like was it beast yeah. rider or something silly yeah. like that um oh. no maybe that was golden axe beats rider it was golden axe beast I, yeah Ooh. it was terrible it yeah. was awful again so they, they didn't stick to the formula they tried to make a 3d thing and it just didn't work yeah. didn't work all right so got golden axe i'd be down for that definitely and altered beast both of those so uh, i'd definitely love to play those again um shinobi there might be an issue with shinobi though it's... do you remember what some of those bosses were <laughs> oh well yeah well it's yeah typical gaming issues we, we get them all the time don't we yes so i remember one of the bosses was spider-man for example, you know, you might struggle to, to get issues. the rights on that one. Licensing issues, but uh, you never know. You never know. Anything's possible these days. Yeah. So it's good. Potentially another beat em up. So that could be good. Um, but Wonder Boy and Streets of Rage 4 are quite distinctive in their style. They so yes. They've done an RPG type thing. They've done a beat em up. Maybe they might try a different genre. Something different completely. Yeah, yeah, it could be RPG or anything. You never know. But three at the same time, that's a fair bit to be working on and continuing to do DLC for, and add-ons for Streets mm -hmm. of Rage 4. So they're obviously um, doing a fair bit. Yeah. Man, that sounds good. I bet, you know what? I'd love it to be something random that would just surprise people. Yeah. You know? I'd love it for it to be like a new Echo the Dolphin game or something like oh. that. That'd be even better, wouldn't it? <laughs> so <laughs> random, but so cool at the same time. Yeah. It, it, that, like completely unexpected, or um, oh, like maybe like a sh uh, shoot 'em up. You know, maybe it could be like um, an R type or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We haven't yeah. had. There's been a few that have come out, I guess, but yeah, there's not. Ikarug is the last one that pops into mind. Yes. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, plenty to predict there, eh? Well, our next bit of news comes from Amazon France, and some mysterious SKUs have appeared. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit more about it, Nick? So this usually happens before a Nintendo Direct, um, unfortunately spoiling a lot of things that we're about to see, and tends to happen just before E3 as well. Considering E3 would be kicking off next week, it is Amazon France, not Amazon USA, which normally gets the placeholders up there um i think these are going to be pretty accurate i think they're going to be pretty spot on but what they are we have no idea so we've got ign doing a few events next week we've got you know a few other things sony which we can talk about later um but amazon france put up three games from bethesda um sorry i'm reading off a list here one switch game and one multi-platinum game or two multi-platinum games so there's a lot of switch love in these lists as well which is probably good because nintendo's been pretty quiet so far this year mm -hmm. i mean 
we've got Paper Mario and Animal Crossing has been a massive hit. Um, but they need some more games. So Square is also releasing two games on Switch. Warner Brothers, a Switch game and a multi-platinum game. Ubisoft, two multi-platinum games. Take Two, a multi-platinum game. And Capcom with a Switch All right. game. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, shall we start with Bethesda then? I mean, that, yeah. that, that Switch, Switch two, game... Flat. That's got to be Doom Eternal, right? Finally, it's got to be. Would think so. Yes, yeah. you would think so. Um, I didn't check to see if Doom Eternal Switch was still on that list or Amazon or anything, but you'd think so. That would be it. Um, mm-hmm. There's just there's no other physical copies they could be releasing in my mind. Um, there's no other games they got that are going to be coming out till later on. So, yeah, Doom Eternal for sure. Are you sure it could be Fallout 76 finally coming to the Switch? Maybe. Yeah, they've lined out all the bugs in that and it's got a good cult following. People now. are desperate to play that one. <laughs> no yes. doubt about it. <laughs> well, it, it seems first person shooters are the thing. They did announce it, but then they indefinitely delayed it. So the timing seems right, though. Um, hey, and, and we can, seems like a good guess, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, we should have had a Nintendo Direct around now as well. They've canned that uh, along with Sony canning a few events as well. So most of these games were probably going to be what was going to be revealed in that event. And apparently Nintendo has told all third parties just to release their games or announce their games when they're ready. So there's no holding back or anything. They can just do it when they want. So, yep, I'm going to go with that. The two multi-platinum ones, tricky because... I think we might have hit on it there a little bit. You know, like... I've there's been rumblings hasn't there over the last sort of year or so of some sort of fallout anniversary edition that could be fallout yep. 3 potentially coming to next gen or maybe some dual pack with um uh, yes. New Vegas you know so maybe something like that could be on its way uh, oh, yeah, yeah some sort of collection we've just got Borderlands released on the switch as well the, yeah um, three games instead of the handsome collection so yeah collections like that are coming out left right and center these days um and they'll bundle games together and put a discount on them and call them remasters a bit like the mafia ones as well so possibly something like okay square to get two from square that are both from switch Ah. all right well my my low-hanging fruit here of something that i think might be switch exclusive um maybe an octopath traveler 2 because yes. I think that first one did a really, like, made gangbusters on well, Switch. It sold, sold really, really well. Good game. Yeah, it was a very good game. It reviewed really well. So it would make sense to release a sequel to that. Um, and the time's right, too. The timing is right. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was roughly, was it August, July, I think, last time that it, that it released? It was definitely that sort of period anyway. Um, and my understanding is, if I remember right, like, you couldn't buy it in Japan at one point. I think it was sold no, out for about a month, wasn't yeah. it? So um, it would it make absolute sense to make another one. There's no way they're not gonna, that Capcom's not going to cash in on Oh, Square, sorry, it's not going to cash yeah. in on that. Yeah. So, um, so there was two. Um, I'm trying to remember. It was Bravely Default Square as well? I believe so, but don't quote me on that one. Yeah. yeah. That's due about this year as well. Yeah. Bravely Default 2, so... Two RPGs would make sense. It would make sense, yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, I'm sure, I mean, like, they've obviously just had their Dragon Quest in the last year, so that's yeah. unlikely to be another one, but you never know um, with Square. Uh, I think the big dream for a lot of people would be for a Chrono Trigger remake of some sort. So, you know, if they want to make the fans happy, that's probably the way that to do it. Yeah. yeah, unlikely, but huge. Yeah. Hey, maybe we'll get Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two exclusive to the Switch just to piss people <laughs> off. <laughs> just twelve months, just randomly. Yeah, we all for some bizarre well. reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. All right, um, Warner Brothers. What do you reckon? So one Switch and one multiplat. Well, Switch is hard. Um, because Mortal Kombat's already there. Mm. Multiplat. I'm gonna go with Batman. Yeah, come on. Council of Owls? It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to yeah, be. It has to be. It has to be Batman. Um, that's, they've, they've, the Twitter's been hinting about that for who knows how long now. Mm. So, um, But the Switch game, interesting. I, I honestly don't see the Batman game coming to Switch. Um, 
It's totally going to be a, like a uh, Lego game or something. Yes, I'd say so. It'd probably be another Lego Scooby Doo or something, something along the lines. Yeah. Lego Scoob or something from the Scoob movie, something along those lines. To they sell well, they make a lot of money. Those, you know what? Like I, we joke, but those Lego games are quite fun. <laughs> like they're re- they're great with friends as well. Like they're good fun games. Yep, really good. No, they're, they're good. They're not they're not cheaply made. They're not. They're not cash grabs, though. They're made really well, All right. even, though we, even though we joke. Um, yeah. And then the next one was two Ubisoft, mm. uh, both multi-plat. Mm. Um, they've got a few games that have been delayed. So That's the thing. They're big games. Most of them have been pushed back to 2021, right? So uh, Watch Dogs, Legion's been pushed back. Um, oh, Skull and Bones? When's that coming? Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Skull and Bones, Beyond yeah. Good Evil 2. Yeah. I think the, both of those are a bit far down the track. Oh. Um, hey, so, at yeah, some I'm, point, though, you I'm, and I should talk about Beyond Good and Evil 2, because yeah. you and I, we got to see the game in action, didn't we? We did. Very early build and got to ask a few questions as well. We um, did. The developers were really nice, and they, they hung out afterwards and chatted to us, and maybe we'll hold on to that for a future episode, but... There's some exciting stuff coming with that game, for sure. Yeah, once, yeah. Once we get some more news on it, we can, yeah, we can tell that story. I think good idea. Good yeah. idea. I think maybe a Far Cry game. That's, maybe even yeah, a that's that's Cry. quite possible because they they're generally going for yearly releases with that, aren't they? So it's it's very doable. And I'm guessing, of, oh, well, is um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla included in that, or have they got their own separate skew? That would already have a skew on there once it got revealed. Yeah, even Amazon France, it would already have a skew. Ah, uh, definitely. Come on, you know, you know, you know, I know, you know, we know. You know what it needs to be, though, right? From Ubisoft. Say it with tell me. Us. Huh? Go, tell us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we're, we're good, aren't we? We're very, very good. good. Prince of Persia, baby. I was actually playing that today on backwards compatibility on my Xbox One X. Mm. Um, really, really handy. Yeah, picked it up for four um, Yes, um, I would love, even if it was a remake of The Sands of Time, I wouldn't care. Like, do that game again. It was beautiful the way it worked. Yeah. Um, the slow motion for running. Yeah, beautiful. And Assassin's Creed has gone a lot. Shut up know, and take my away. money. Well, Assassin's Creed's gone away. It's now Vikings. So yeah. they could it's do that. enough that they could do it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Assassin's yeah. Creed's not taking that area anymore. So. Come on, Ubisoft, uh, Akrai and Prince of Persia, or even Splinter Cell. Ooh, all right, you're tempting fate there. But you know, man, we both know it's not going to be any of that. It's going to be Just Dance 2021. That's going to be what it is. And we're going to be all disappointed and then kind of confused because there'll still be a Wii version. <laughs> yeah. Possibly a Vita version as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Take Two. That is an interesting one. What do you reckon? Problem with Take Two is they have how many different smaller companies, publishers, like like 50 or something? It could be anything. It really could. It's so hard with them. Um, They just announced they're going to release 96 games in the next five years. And I suspect three of them will probably care about. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) because they, they do. They have their money in fingers in so much different things, and the money just rolls in for Take Two. They're a very big publisher. I think it's hard. I honestly couldn't even throw a guess out there because I just, there's just so many different things it could be. Mm. But what do you think? Uh, agent. Perfect. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. You've nailed it. You've nailed it. <laughs> Yeah, well, every year people are going to put that on their bingo sheet for E3. You know, it's going to come one day, one day. It, it will come. It'll come. <laughs> um, I would yeah, love they... it if actually it was one of the smaller, yeah, Rockstar games. So yep. either, so something that maybe doesn't get as much attention as you know your GTAs and your Red Deads and whatnot. Um, even Bully. So I wouldn't even. So I'm thinking yes. more obscure than that. Um, I remember a game that they did called State of Emergency. Uh, that was actually fun. It was fun. It it was like kind that. of like um uh the, the names escape me now. The when it's got uh Frank the photographer that goes around the shopping mall, um Dead Rising. Uh, right? Yeah, Dead, Dead Rising. Rising. Yeah. 
So it's a little bit like that because you're going around the shopping mall and beating people up and things like that. So it was great fun. Um, so either State of Emergency or The Warriors. Did you ever play oh, The Warriors? Yes. I yeah. did play The Warriors. That was good too, yes. Yeah. That's old school. It is. So that would be a beat em up again, you know, but yeah. either remakes of one of those games or just new entries. That could be very, yeah. very cool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think Bully's a chance, to be honest, because they were making a Bully sequel that got scrapped. So mm. it's not out of the realm of possibility they could do that. Um, although it's a lot of school bullying going on at the moment. And the world we live in, maybe not. Maybe the world's a bit sensitive to make something like that. Yeah, these days. those teachers need to stop bullying kids. It's evil. It ruins them for life. It is. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Bully's a good game. I also play that on my Xbox One X. Buy backwards compatibility. Ooh, I'm going to do that every time now. Every time. It's a, it's a My only good concern game. is going to be when, like, your hands are no longer above, like, the desk. You know, that's when I'm going to get worried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and last one, Capcom. But Capcom. for the Switch. Which? Do you have a theory? I have a theory. I'm going to let you go first. I want to hear yours because your, yours is going to be, like, steeped in logic and likely. Mine is just going to be a big, I don't know, session of begging at the camera to Capcom to please give me this. So you go first. Yours is going to be more dignified. Okay. Going off what happens online. I know we don't believe these things. They're not always true. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, EB Games website accidentally listed Street Fighter V. Mm. Oh, full... that was a little while back, wasn't it? Yeah. For the full information thing that was... I know these companies can write up anything that they want, blah, 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 but it had a full verb down the bottom that said switch features, blah, blah, blah. So it wasn't just a box art with a custom-made image or anything. It, it had full details and everything, and then they took it down and said, sorry, you made a mistake. This isn't happening. It was uh, an error. And then they've just recently announced um, Season 5 for Street Fighter Five, which nobody thought they would, considering they just released that physical version to shops a couple months ago, and everyone thought, well, that would be the end of it mm. five more characters three more stages so they're really supporting the game which had a very shaky launch yeah i remember um, that yeah um it is on pc as well which is yeah you know, which means it's not 100 percent exclusive to the playstation 4 um so a switch version would make sense they, they've mm. put street fighter on nintendo so, yeah street fighter's done very well on switch so um, and, I, mean, I remember when um because they released that, was it Ultra Street Fighter 2? Or was it was just the one game in the first yep. month or whatever? But, you know, apparently it sold really well. You know, people liked it. And then they released that collection that also did well. Yeah, uh, I, I loved it. It was really well done. It wasn't a cheap gimmick. Uh, they put a bit of effort into it, and it was done really well. I enjoyed it. I, that was one of the first Switch games I got, actually. Mm. Really, really good. And like I said, that compilation package was there, which was even better. Um, mm. It would sell. It would make sense. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it, yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head. It just makes sense. For whatever reason, Switch has become a bit of a um, lightning rod for all of those sort of fighters. You know, like Mortal Kombat, as far as I know, has done really well yeah. on the Switch. You know, Mortal Kombat 11. I mean, Smash Brothers is now the biggest fighting game of all time, you know, and it's on Switch. Um, and then this is all sorts of, uh, there's a lot of like anime style ones that I don't really know. So it's, like Dragon Ball, Xenoverse, all that sort of stuff did really well. So makes sense it makes a yeah. lot of sense for it to be that yeah um, fingers crossed well, yeah well with that in mind um mine's also a fighter uh, from capcom and so my please 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 capcom please um and it's never going to happen but is power stone 3 <laughs> i would die for power stone 3 i would fall on my sword on a hill for power stone 3 i would not love it one. you're not the only one yeah um, it would be interesting, definitely. Um, it's funny how those kind of series you just—they just don't—they just don't, don't even bring them up. They don't even discuss them anymore, oh. do they? The fans ask and ask and ask, and they're still nothing. brilliant, though. Those games, especially like, the second one, because you can play four players on it, and it's just insane. Especially on big TVs now, where you can see everything. Oh, technology, gorgeous! Yeah, bring it back. Um, okay. Controversial opinion: I've always thought that Smash, after Smash Ultimate, should go down the Power Stone route. Now, people are going to hate me. Purists are going to despise me for this. But Smash has been the same 
for four games and they've done the ultimate version now, you need to try something different. If you just do the same again, it's going to go stale. And I reckon Battle Arenas, Power Stone style. Fight me, bro. (laughs) No, I agree. Change it up. Stop doing the same thing over and over again. Mm. Maybe include a classic mode, you know, for for the purists. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Power Stone 3. Make it happen, Capcom. I'll buy 20 copies just to help you out. You know, we'll do that. (laughs) I'm sure they're listening. Yeah. All right.